Hey, how you doing? This is Mr. Clifford with ACDC Econ, Key Economic Concepts in 60 Seconds. We're talking about imperfect competition. We're talking about monopolies. You've got to know how to draw this graph. I'm going to show you the concepts and the graph in 60 seconds. The first thing you've got to draw when you draw monopoly is a downward sloping demand curve. Demand curve has an inverse relationship between price and quantity. Here's price, here's quantity, demand. We just learned from a different video that the demand does not equal to marginal revenue in a monopoly. The marginal revenue is actually less and it looks just like that. Marginal revenue, less than demand. Good. The next thing you got to draw is a marginal cost curve. It goes down and up. We learned that for a couple videos as well. At ATC, I'm going to draw showing a profit. It goes down, hits a minimum, and then goes back up. ATC. The next step is to figure out how much do they produce. And the rule you learned in perfect competition still applies. A firm produces where MR equals MC. Right there. That's the quantity for a monopoly. Done. That's easy. Now you're tempted to think that the price is right here. Right? They're going to charge this price and you'd be wrong. That's not correct. What they're going to charge is what people are willing to pay. Right? The demand curve tells me how much they're willing to pay. The monopoly is going to charge that price. And if I want to figure out the profit, price down to ATC and over, it's right there. Good. That's the concept. See you next time. Time for a bonus round. I can't give you a graph without making you uh, calculate a few things. Let's change this quantity to 10. Let's change this price to 25. And let's change this ATC, which is right down here, to 20. What I want you to do is give me the total revenue, the total cost, the profit, and the profit per unit. Once you can give me that, then you get this concept. Ready? And go. The price that you're selling these things is 25 bucks. So the total revenue, price times quantity, is 25 times 10, $250. The total cost, well, again, you go down to ATC. That's $20 ATC, so there's $200 total cost. 20 average total cost times 10. Then the next thing is figure out the profit. Well, you just subtract total revenue minus total cost. That gives me $50 profit. And if I'm making $50 profit and I'm selling 10 units, then the profit per unit has to be $5. And I can see it. It's right there. If I'm selling for $25, the average total cost is $20. I'm making $5 per unit. And the profit is sitting in your face, boom, right there. Good. That's the concept. Hopefully you get it. Until next time.